What up, Laker Nation? You have your boy Kareem, aka 100 Likes. How you guys doing? Wow. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Man, the Lakers is closing in on the deal. They're trying to make something happen with the team. They've been in turmoil with the team, with the coaching. They are just really trying to upgrade this roster. They really want to get the championship this year. So uh, these two players here that they really highly connected to, that they're really trying to iron out and close the deal with these two players. There's Germany Grant and Miles Turner. Um, I'm going to break down both teams, both players' games, and what I feel that's the best uh, deal that I think the Lakers should go with. Um, now, Germany Grant already stated that he want to be a vocal part of offense, whatever team he go to. Me personally, um, I never seen Jeremy Grant in that type of setting where he's the man outside a weak team like Detroit. Um, look at his game, he threw a little slashing, um, knocked down a couple jump shots. But creating his own shot, I don't think that's his strength. And being with the Lakers, I don't really see him really being too, too much effective on the offensive side of the ball. But he... Um, he rebound uh, pretty well for his uh, position. Um, he he uh, played good without the ball. He could defend some, but um, the, the, my one of my major concerns is he he wants a uh, extension, and his extension will bring him up to like twenty seven, twenty eight million dollars a year. And I'm I'm not too sold on giving him that. I think the Lakers should trade with caution. Um, be careful, you know. When when the um, books clear up, when Braun and and Russ everybody off the books, and you just have AD, they really need to think about. Um, you only have a big major salary for a guy that's not as good to me. He's not no all star player, um, killing your, your cap space like that. Miles um, Turner, seven footer, tremendous shot blocker. He lead the league in blocks. Um, he's younger. I think that he can be a major upside. I think years to come, I, I did a bunch of research last night. I was really, really zooming in on these two guys. And I think Miles Turner definitely be the better fit with the Lakers. The shot blocking to be crazy. Him and AD for years to come. I think the Lakers will lead the league in shot blocking every year with them two guys. He much quicker than Dwight Howard. Now, like, you know, as far as rotating, getting blocked, he also a stretch big. He can knock down a three. And he also, he can get the ball in like a 10-feet space and drive to the basket. He has that ability. He can run to the floor. He's not that big of a rebounder. But you have AD there to clean up uh, his mess on that end. I think long term, that would be the answer for me. Like I say, he's younger, um, easier fit. He'd be much cheaper. The center position is just going downwards. You're really not going to see too many big contracts outside of um, Embiid and Jokic and, and, and Sabonis. Outside of that, you're going to see too many guys with big, big contract at that center position. Um, what he getting now around like $17 million, I think he probably could resign for about that. We ain't really much interest on, on the center, center, left, center position for a salary. So I think cap wise you keep him let's say if the books clear with Braun and Russ and let's say Braun retire with them two that's a hell of a building block with them two anchors in the back um AD and Turner in the back the bill with that I think is an easier bill with that than um Germany Grant so I will go with Jeremy Grant I'm locked in I hope the Lakers get the Germany I mean um I'm locked in with the Miles Turner of the Lakers Close the deal with the Miles Turner. I hope that works. And um, like, subscribe. Peace.